Hello guys and welcome to Phil's Fitness Show and today I'm going to slate Slim World and I'm going to show you why it's so detrimental for a lot of people and that you should not be going ahead with Slim World if you want to lose weight and find out what you need to do to make sure you lose weight properly. So I've been in the fitness industry now for about 12 years and Slim World is one of them companies that just pop up all the time with past clients, with current clients, people asking me all the time, Phil, what do you think of Slimmer World? Phil, I need to lose weight. I've heard Slimmer World is a good thing to do. What can I do? Blah, blah, blah. But it is a load of rubbish and I hate Slimmer World. I really, really do. And here is why. Slimmer World is a bit of a joke. It's like a cult. Now, the reason I'm passionate about me slating off Slimmer World is that they go against science. And that is my theory. Like for people who want to lose weight, they need to understand why weight loss or weight gain for that matter actually works. The more understanding people have on weight loss, the better results people will achieve. And that is my method to all my clients, to every single person that starts with me. It's also my method and my message on social media as well. Every single day, all I try and do is give off a lot of good information, quality information for people to have an understanding and an awareness of weight loss. Because we live in a generation now, we are really, really obese. We're a really obese generation. Um, children, obesity is going up through the roof every single year. It's getting higher and higher. We're becoming very, very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. And obviously, over the past 18 months with COVID and everything that's happening, it's, it's come clear that the healthier you are, the better off you are with fighting off COVID, if you were to ever get it. So... COVID has impacted obviously older people, but also very unhealthy people as well. So the healthier you become, the more better off you are surviving the likes of COVID, the likes of lung disease, heart disease, everything, diabetes. And so that is why I'm very passionate and every single day I talk about how weight loss actually happens and what you need to do, which we all know by now is a calorie deficit. But let's talk about Slimmer World anyway. So Slimmer World tend to disregard the scientific approach. It's very, very frustrating, but that's what they do. They disregard the scientific approach and they've created up their own little shit, which is their own sins. What the fuck? What sins? Do you know what I mean? What does sins represent? Sin is a negative word. If it's a bit of a punishment. Sin is something that you've done wrong. So automatically, it's detrimental to your mindset and it automatically gives you a bad relationship with certain foods, okay? So what Slim will do, is they say to you, right, based on your height, based on your weight, potentially activity levels, it used to be activity levels, I don't know if they consider that now, but they then give you a set amount of sins that you're allowed to consume in a day. They have a list of certain foods that you've got to eat, they have a list of certain foods that are free, as in like they've got no sins, and then they have a big massive book of how many sins per food item. For example, like a Mars bar, 12 sins. So the average person is allowed about 20 sins a day. 20 sins a day. So what happens then is that they think, right, they, they automatically, they're thinking, I can have all these free foods, that's sound, but then how many sins can I have a day? So it's kind of saying, right, I've got to really limit this crap food and I might have a 12 sins for my Mars bar, for my lunch, and then over night time, I might have a little bit of mayonnaise, and that's a few more sins, and then I might have a bit of packet of crisps, and that's all my sins done for the day. So I, I understand the concept in that matter. It's trying to reduce the amount of crap that you consume in a day, which is fair enough. It's the crap food that leads to us being very unhealthy. But ultimately, the fact that you use the word sins, it's very detrimental to someone's mindset. It's making you think, right, I can't have too many of this because it's going to be really, really bad for me. And then on the flip side, all the free foods, it's ridiculous. There's no limit on how much of this you can possibly have in a single day. That includes potatoes, that includes pasta, that includes fruit. Okay, so that's how it works. Free foods, sins. Basically, good food, bad food. That's how it's going about it, okay? Which is what we don't want to do. We don't want that at all. So, science, this is science, will sh tell you that if you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. If you are in a calorie excess, you will gain weight. So, average person will burn off a certain amount of calories per day. If you overconsume this amount of calories, you will gain weight. If you underconsume this amount of calories, you will lose weight. That is science. So fuck all the sins. Of course, that's a load of rubbish. Why can't Slim World turn around to all these people and say, right, we're going to disregard all these sins for now, and we're going to teach you the scientific approach as to how weight loss and weight gain works. And what would happen then is that A, everybody will have a much better understanding of all this, and B, people will be a lot more successful in the future. So Let's look back Slim World and what they do, the free foods and the sins. Let's now bear in mind how weight loss and weight gain works. 
What if I then turn around and think, right, I don't want any sins today. I'm on Slimmer Wheel, this is day one. I don't want any sins, but I'm just gonna eat all these free foods. If I overconsumed on pasta, if I overconsumed on rice, if I overconsumed even on fruit, I will gain weight. If I'm burning off 2,000 calories in my day, yet I'm having 2,500 calories worth of pasta, I'm gonna gain weight, but according to Slimmer World, you will not gain weight. And that is my problem. It's like, it, it's, not, it's not correct. It's incorrect. It's very, very false. Secondly, my theory is, what about I'd have all these sins? I could then, once again, let's go back to me, 2,000 calories. What if I had 10 Mars bars? Which is ridiculous. But if I have 10 Mars bars, 12 sins per Mars bar, 120 sins, that is 100 sins over my daily allowance according to Slimming World. But if I have 10 Mars bars and they're 180 calories per Mars bar, that is 1,800 calories. Therefore, if I'm burning off 2,000 calories but only consuming 1,800, yes, you would never do 10 Mars bars in your whole diet in your day, but I would lose weight. Why? Because I'm consuming less calories that I'm burning off. So that is my point. So I've gone from two extreme circumstances there based on the Slimmer World free foods and the Slimmer World sins. And I could use their approaches of having a completely day, a complete day full of free foods and no sins and I'd gain weight. Or I can switch it around drastically the other way and have sin only foods and lose weight based on their calculations. I'd be a hundred sins over my allowance. So my point is, Slim World are a joke because what they want to do, they want to keep you involved with Slim World. If you go to Slim World and you've been unhealthy for a while and you're overweight and you want to lose a few pounds, you go to Slim World, you will be successful initially because you're cutting out a lot of rubbish. So they make you think, right, Slim World is the only answer. Slim World is the only solution to your problems when in fact it is not. So that is my point my point is is that slimming will want to keep you in their little bubble in their little cult i have nothing to do with the outside world and the more you keep going back to slimming world the more you're spreading slimming world as a name the more you're giving them money as a business and that is my problem that's my point why do you have to come up with this load of shit when you can just talk about science i have far much more respect from a lot of people and of course you will have a lot more success in the future with your uh, results as well because the more you have an understanding about calories about weight loss about weight gain the better results you will achieve for the rest of your life if you don't have an understanding and you stick to slimmer world and you've got sins and you've got free foods and you've got all this bad relationship with certain foods you will be very unsuccessful and that is a fact the amount of people that have come from me from slimmer world and said phil this is a load of rubbish i'm really confused i don't know what to do they also have a big fear of foods as well they know i can't have that because that's got 12 sins i'm like chill are you within your calories they go yeah and i go are you within have you ate quite healthy today as the bulk of your calorie intake and they go yeah well you're allowed this then as long as you stay within your calories as long as the majority of your foods on a day-to-day -day basis are pretty healthy you are okay to have certain things at certain times another massive thing that i promote all the time with calories is if you're having a big party let's say you're having a barbecue with the family on a saturday night you want to be able to go to that saturday night and enjoy yourself if you're on slimmer world you can't do that so what i do with the calorie side of things is i will say right guys what i want you to do for me if you're going for a barbecue on saturday night why don't you borrow calories from certain days for example if i want a big night out on saturday then i might take 200 calories from wednesday from thursday from friday I'd take that and I'd put them all to Saturday night, which gives me an extra allowance of 600 calories, which will keep me on track. I'd enjoy the night, it's Saturday night, totally, at that burgers glow, and I'd still be on track with my weight loss. So calories is the answer. Calories is something that you need to know about, and the more you know about it, the better understand you have about it all, the better your results will be. So that is why I hate Slimmer World. And that is why you need to avoid Slimmer World and potentially all the other load of rubbish that's out there. And that is why you need to just stick to calories, which is science, and you have a much better understanding.